Hey guys, my name is Jess. Today it is the 21st of January and you are watching Game Split News. XCOM Dev for Axis have teamed up with a bunch of modders to make sure you have sweet mods to install when XCOM 2 comes out next month. The modders are Long War Studios, a three-person team who were instrumental in creating the popular Long War Total Conversion mod, The Enemy Unknown and its expansion. Exactly what's in store for XCOM 2 is yet to be revealed, but for Axis say the team have multiple mods on their way to arrive alongside the game on February 5. Enemy Unknown's Long War mod offered up an extended campaign, more classes and new voice acting. Even Firaxis commented at the time that the mod quote, takes XCOM to a new level. While there was no proper mod support for the first game, Firaxis have built Steam Workshop functionality into XCOM 2 from the get-go. Nintendo have revealed exactly what those little plastic amiibo toys are going to do in The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess on Wii U. Tapping the upcoming Wolf Link amiibo will unlock the Cave of Shadow, which contains a bunch of challenges where you'll need to use Wolf Link and Midna's abilities to defeat waves of foes. Should you do so, the number of remaining hearts can be recorded to the amiibo, and you can pop back and try to beat that score. The Link and Toon Link amiibo restore arrows in the game, while the Ganondorf amiibo makes Link take more damage. Yes, that's more damage, so if you want the game to be harder, this one is for you. Princess Zelda and Sheik both have the effect of restoring your heart. Finally, Microsoft have revealed 10 new Xbox One backwards compatible games, and without further ado, here they are. Joining the now 130 game strong roster of backward compatible titles are Aegis Wing, Age of Booty, Counter Strike Global Offensive, Jeremy McGrath's Off Road, Sam and the Max Save the World, Skullgirls, Small Arms, Soul Calibur, Space Giraffe, and finally The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings, which is also being offered up for free until February 5. Microsoft also confirmed that new games will join the lineup as they become available, instead of on a predetermined monthly basis. Let me know down in that comment section what you think of these new backward compatible offerings and if there's anything you're still waiting on. You can head to GameSpot where we've got news on a controversial Fire Emblem scene and new Rocket League content. That is everything I have for you today, but be sure to join me same time tomorrow for the five biggest stories of the entire week. I will catch you then.